Okay, we're just about good to go. It's 12.30, so we might as well kick off. As I said, if you do have any questions, uh, pop them in the, the chat there, and uh, I'll either answer them at the end of the session or as we go along. So welcome to Working From Anywhere Live, which is uh, a webinar where I share and demonstrate the tools and technology and systems that actually work in small business. So these tools that save you time, money, and most importantly, make your life easier. Uh, these sessions are a 15, around 15 minute session. I've sort of timed this a few times this morning, might be a little bit over. So it's just an overview of uh, the particular tool we're looking at today, but it's backed up by a full step-by-step -step course that's available in the Working From Anywhere Online Academy. Okay, so today we're talking about Smarter Q. We're talking about social media. Uh, we all need social media in our businesses, but it's uh, quite a bit of a, a time sucker. So uh, Smarter Q, uh, they tell me, or they they state is the smartest way to do social media, saves five hours every week. I can assure you I've been using Smarter Q for quite some time now, and it does stack. Uh, it does, in fact, save you a whole stack of time. So that's what we're looking at today. So what is SmarterQ and what can it do? SmarterQ allows you to add, schedule and share content to your various uh, social media, through your various social media accounts. And not only can you share it to uh, a number of your accounts, but it also allows you to share the same content uh, to different accounts at different times. Makes it very easy to do that. So rather than posting one thing, Everywhere at one time, you can scatter it depending on which account. You're also able to, you can uh, find content from within uh, SmarterQ, and it also allows you to add content on the fly, which is another real time saver. So, for instance, if you're browsing the internet and you come across a really interesting article and you think that's of interest and my audience would be uh, interested in that article, I'd love to share that, you can do it on the fly using SmarterQ, and I will go over how exactly you do that. So why would you use SmarterQ? As I said, it saves you time, as do all of the tools and technology that I share with you on these webinars and in the membership. All of these tools do save you time and make your life easier. Time is something in life that we can't get back, so it's very important to use it very wisely, and that's uh, as I said, social media is a bit of a time sucker and SmarterQ will help you to save some time. Okay. Oh, Kirsty's here too. Hi, Kirsty. Uh, okay, how does it work? The easiest way to show you how it works is let's go live and have a look at my SmarterQ. So I'll just pop out of here and go to sharing my screen. Okay, so everyone should now see my screen and it's sitting in uh, my SmarterQ account. Okay, so as I mentioned, SmarterQ allows you to share content over a number of your accounts at different times. And it's able to do this uh, by, it, there's three areas that it works in to, act, to enable it to do this. And that is social media profiles, categories and schedule. These three areas work together to make this possible and they do it quite easily. Uh, it's a little difficult to explain, but let's see how we go. First of all, you need to add your social media accounts uh, and uh, the, the base plan allows you for four social media profiles, which is probably as much as anyone needs. I've got my LinkedIn, my Twitter, my face, uh, Working From Anywhere Facebook page and my Instagram account. You then need to add categories, uh, and the categories are around the, the different types of uh, content that you share with your audience. Uh, and I've got, for instance, curated content, which is interesting articles that other people, that I've found that other people have written that I believe are of interest to my audience. I use curated content category to share those articles and content. Inspiration. I use that for uh, my inspirational images and quotes that I share with my audience and working from anywhere website, any content 
uh, from my website, promotions, uh, blog posts that I want to share with my audience and try and get them back to my website, which is something we should all be doing. So I use that category. So we've got profiles, categories, and then we have a schedule, which I'll show you how this looks and how this all works together. Okay, so we've got uh, a schedule here. And basically what happens here is you choose which of those categories and which of those social media accounts you would like to share at particular times. So if you look at my schedule here, I've got uh, inspiration category sharing onto my Instagram account, seven o'clock each day. At eight o'clock each day, I've got curated content shared to my Working From Anywhere Facebook page at eight o'clock each day. And then if I go down further, I've got curated content going out at 10 a.m. each day to my uh, LinkedIn page and my Twitter account. So this is where you can see uh, you can share that same content to different accounts at different times. And this is not something that you have to do uh, every week. Once you set this schedule, if you get this schedule right, and you, you can change it, once you set this up, it just stays set and forget. Then all you have to do is add content to your categories, and then it works through this schedule. This schedule then pushes out that to what's called a queue. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense, but I'll go through how you add content and hopefully that will actually make even more sense. Okay, so adding content to these particular categories, there are a number of ways of adding content. I will quickly demonstrate three ways of doing that. Uh, the first way is you can simply click on add content and add a post. It brings up a content editor. The first thing you need to do is click on the category. Then you select which social media accounts you would like to share this with. And then you simply add your content. I've got something here that I uh, cooked a little bit earlier, prepared a little bit earlier. I'll just copy and paste it rather than uh, redoing it. And we just paste that into there. And I know I missed the front of it. Oh, no, there we go. So you paste that into the top one. And as you can see, because I've got because I've got the bulk edit text there, it populates down into the other two areas. So that's LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. Now you can go in and individually change these if you want, uh, but as you can see, very, very quickly, another time, yeah, it, it saves you time basically, makes it very, very easy. Uh, if we scroll down, you can see the link. It not only adds the, the text, but I've added a link in there and it shortens the link in there. And then if we scroll down further, you actually get a preview of what it looks like on Facebook, what it looks like in LinkedIn, and what it looks like in Twitter. So you can see what your post will look like, and then you simply add it to the queue. Now, there are two ways you can add it to the queue. You can add it to the queue as a post once, and that's not post once in any account, that's post once to into each of those accounts that you've selected, and then that's it. Uh, at the scheduled time, or the other thing you can do is you can requeue after posting. This is called uh, evergreen content. So say you have some content that you want to, uh, you've got a, a bunch of content that you want to continue to uh, revolve around and keep posting. For instance, I have uh, my inspirational uh, images and posts, uh, quotes. I have 30 or 40 of those. I just set them in a queue and they just uh, get posted each day. And what happens, it starts at the top and goes all the way down to the bottom each day. By the time it gets to the bottom, goes back up to the top. By the time it gets to repost that first one, again, there's quite a bit of a, a time gap in there and you're able to repurpose that, that, that content uh, around and around and around. So you can do that for some of your content and it's just a really cool way of repurposing content and doing it quite efficiently. So let's just add that to the queue for now as a post once. Uh, we'll have a look at the queue later and where that goes, but next up I'll show you the second way of adding content to this queue. So all we're doing is adding content to the categories that then works with uh, that schedule and adds to the queue. So you're browsing the web and you come across a really interesting article thinking that will be really good for my audience. Let's uh, save that and add it to my queue. 
you don't have to go out of that that website, save it and go into SmartEQ. You just click on the SmartEQ extension here. From that website, uh, that web page, it brings up the same content editor. You click uh, the content, uh, sorry, the category, the the page that you want to share or the social media you want to share account you want to share it to add in your uh your caption here it automatically adds the link there you can see what it looks like and then you click on add to queue and then that simply adds it to your queue without leaving the website you can continue on uh, browsing the web without with very little interruption to what you're doing and knowing that that will be uh, shared later with your audience based on your schedule so that's the second way of uh, adding content. The third way, which is fantastic, you can also find content from within SmartEQ. And so this is, this, SmartEQ does a lot of stuff, so I'm, I'm being very quick at uh, how we do all this, but uh, okay. So in here, you can search for usernames, hashtags, websites, Facebook pages, uh, all sorts of things, and I'll just go to a Facebook page that uh, I did save earlier. Actually, I don't have to go there. I can do it from here. So from within SmarterQ, you can uh, go to a, a Facebook page. You can go to a website, and if I click on that, you'll see it brings up all of their posts in chronological order. Uh, now, Obviously, you're going to go to some sort of source that's relevant to your audience, and you can browse through there and see uh, what content in there that you want to share with your audience. And you simply click on share. And you can even see what's got the most engagement here. This is a Google's Facebook page, <coughs> or one of Google's Facebook pages. And from here, you can just share it. You can simply add it to your queue uh, very quickly. The other thing you can do is you can actually save sources. So if you uh, have a particular source that you go to regularly, it's got really interesting articles that you share with your audience, you can save it. So if I go over here, I've saved the Google blog, I click on that. Without going out of SmarterQ, I can see all their latest blog posts. I can click on one of these links and go and read it and see if it's relevant to my audience and then click on share. So they that's the basics of... Uh, how you add content, it then all comes over to what's called the queue. And from this queue, this is a live feed of what's going out next. So uh, it's in chronological order. You can see today, Wednesday at three o'clock on my Twitter feed, this post will go out uh, at three o'clock today. This post will go to my LinkedIn feed. Uh, at seven o'clock tonight, this will go to my Twitter feed. So this gives you a really good overview of what's in your queue. You can quickly go down, have a look, and make sure everything looks okay. From here, you can edit these posts. You can create copies. You can delete them if there's a mistake in there. You can move them up and down uh, your queue, uh, but move to the bottom or the top, or you can either uh, drag it up and down using this arrow here. So gives you a really easy overview of what's happening. But all of this happens automatically. All you have to do once you've got it set up is add content to those categories. So that is a uh, just about your very quick overview of, I'll just go back to our presentation, a quick overview of how SmarterQ works. I'll get in front this time. People always ask, how much does it cost? So I've uh, actually shared that here. There are three different plans with SmarterQ. Uh, the base plan, which is the plan that I'm on, uh, is $16.99 per month paid annually. That's $16.99 US, about $20, 20 bucks a month uh, for 12 months. It's absolutely good value. You will save that in time. The difference in the, the different levels is basically the amount of social media profiles you can have on your account. So with the next one up, it's 10 and the next one, 25. I would say most people would be very happy with the solo plan for 20 bucks a month. It's an absolute bargain. Uh, 
you they do have a trial you can do it they do have normally have a free 14 day trial of smart acute so you can actually go in there and start using it for 14 days at the end of this webinar you'll be directed to a page that's linked to a, a 30 day extended trial so i've able to be I, i'm able to give you a 30 day trial so you can actually use smart acute for 30 days i'll throw in a disclaimer that i do get rewarded if you do use that link but it is a win-win. You get 30 days to use the program and see if it works for you, and I get a little reward. So by all means, go along and have a look at that. So that's the overview. Has anyone got any questions? Just type them in the chat there. Happy to try and answer any questions. If I can't answer them now, I'll certainly get back to you. Like I said, it's a, a pretty... Uh, Fantastic. This is brilliant. Another great presentation. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Cyril. That's good. Very pleased with that. Any questions? If there are no questions, like I said, I'm happy to answer questions. If you do think of something afterwards or even if you do decide to sign up for a trial and have some questions, by all means, uh, let me know. I'm happy to answer those questions. Uh, as I mentioned, there is a full step by step course available uh, in the Working From Anywhere Academy for all our members. Uh, anyone that's not a member, uh, you there is also a 14-day free trial of the Working From Anywhere membership which gives you access to not only this course but all of the courses in the academy. So you can do that for free for 14 days and, of course, I then hope you stay on because there's many other uh, benefits of a Working From Anywhere membership. And as always, if you need any more help, whether it's with SmartIQ or anything else, uh, technology, you need solutions, by all means, uh, get in touch. Happy to schedule some time to have a chat. I am your shortcut to tools and technology for your small business, and I am here to help. So please, please uh, yell out, send me an email or uh, send me a message. And that's about it. Uh, so that's about a wrap. Thank you for taking the time to join me today, for tuning in. I really do hope that you've got something out of this session and you can see uh, that maybe this particular tool can save time and make your life easier. Until next time, have an awesome rest of the day. Carpe diem and au revoir.